Welcome to Joystick. In this video, you are going to learn to solve one of the interesting interview problems, which is to check if two strings are anagrams. An anagram is a word or a phrase which is formed by rearranging the letters of another word. Race and care are anagrams. Part and trap are anagrams. Listen and silent are anagrams. We are going to solve this problem using Python. I'll switch to PyCharm now where I'll begin writing the Python program to solve this problem. I highly recommend you to follow along with me as this will help you to absorb the code better. I am here in PyCharm and I'll write the program in this file anagrams.py which I created just now. If you don't have PyCharm installed then you can watch this video up here in the i button. Also, if you want to grow in Python and become an expert, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel Joystick if you haven't done it already and hit the bell icon. If you are liking the video, then hit the like button as well. I'll first write the main function. PyCharm is going to help me in writing the main function for which I just need to type main. Here is the syntax for me. Now I'll declare and initialize two strings. Then I'm going to write a function and pass these two strings as its parameters. So it will be str1 equal to trap and str2 equal to part. Here are my two string variables declared and initialized. Now it's time to write the function where I'm going to write the main logic. So I'm going to write this function above the main function i'll make use of the def keyword then i'm going to name the function as check anagrams and the two parameters that i'm going to write within the brackets will be s1 and uh, s2 i'll now make use of python's inbuilt sorted function which is going to sort the string pass to it as the parameter I'm going to pass both the strings to the sorted function separately and then compare them. If they are the same, then those two strings are anagrams. If they are not, then they are not anagrams. So it will be if sorted s1, which is going to contain my string 1, equal to equal to sign or comparison operator sorted s2 colon. If they are equal, then I am going to print curly brackets and curly bracket are anagrams dot format I'm going to pass S1 and S2 and uh, then I'm going to write the else part. So I'm going to simply print uh, this message, but I'm going to add one more word to the message, which will be not. I believe the program is over. There is only one thing remaining, which is calling the check anagrams function, which I'm going to do over here. So I'm going to call check anagrams and I'm going to pass str1 and str2 as the parameters. Let's check the output by running the program. So I'm going to click on the play button. And there you go. It says trap and part are anagrams let me change a letter of the second string and check the output again so i'm going to replace this t with uh, s so they are not going to be anagrams but let's see what the program output says see it says trap and parse are not anagrams so this program this method that we have written over here is working fine let me tell you one more method using which we can find if two strings are anagrams or not. So instead of sorted method that we used over here, I'm going to use the counter class from the collections module. I'll first import it using the syntax from collections import counter. Let me zoom in a bit. Then simply I'm going to write if counter s1 comparison operator counter s2 cool. 
Let's first run the program and check if it's giving the correct output. So it says trap and parse are not uh, anagrams. Let me change this S to T. Let me run the program. It says trap and part are anagrams. That means the program is working fine. This new approach using the counter class is also working fine. So a counter object once initialized produces a dictionary like output internally. That means each letter of the string will be stored as a key and its count will be stored as a value. Why don't I show it to you by printing these initialized counters over here? So let me print them over here separately. So I'm going to print only counter object while passing the string variable S1. So let me run this and show you the output. Check over here. The output is in the dictionary format. Trap is the string which we passed through this variable S1. And all the four letters in this string trap are appearing only once. T, R, A and P. And hence their value is one in this output over here. So a counter is an unordered collection where elements and their respective counts are stored as a dictionary. Also remember that counters give back lists. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel Joey's Tech if you haven't already. And only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.